Welcome to Stillworks and Brewing. My name is Randy and this is a channel that's all about home distillation and brewing. So what do we got going on today? Well, we remember, I think it was last week, we made our Irish whiskey mash stop. Uh, so today what we're going to do is we're going to distill that out. You don't want to miss this. Okay, but there is something you can really do to help us out. Uh, five easy things. One, hit that subscribe button down there in the corner. Uh, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified anytime we come out with new content. Uh, number three, share it with your friends, okay? Uh, number four, uh, if you like what you see, give us that thumbs up. That really helps us a lot. And number five, leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Okay, so now let's get Okay, so here's our mash. Let's open her up. And we're going to use a hydrometer to make sure that it's done. It smells nice and sour, which it should be. So we'll drop our hydrometer in there and see what we got. Oh yeah. Let's finish bobbling around a little bit. And... Okay, so if you see there's 1.000. So she is done. She is ready to be distilled. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to siphon this over into our still pot. Leave all the junk behind. Okay, so let me get that set up and ready to go and I'll be back. Okay, so our OG was our original gravity minus our final gravity equals 0 0.080 times 131.25 and that will give us about 10 and a half percent ABV alcohol by volume okay so 10 and a half percent of six gallons which was what my mash was is right around three quarts of pure alcohol that's in that mash okay so let's get now we know what we're going to expect somewhere around the neighborhood we're going to suspect to get uh, that's always good information to know all right so let's get uh, setting our still up and we'll move on okay so let's start stacking our still out Cooling on first. Next piece is our first piece of column, and we're going to roll up some copper and put it in the bottom of it. There's one roll, like, and make sure that it's not packed too tight. We don't really want no restrictions. One easy test is. If you breathe it, breathe through it real easy, then it's not packed too tight. Put a gasket. We'll put our first piece of column on. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do that I don't normally do, I'm going to put a handful of rationing rings in there. I just wanted a little bit more surface area. So 
put a couple handfuls in. Next thing I'll do is I'll put on my sight glass. Of course this is just an option, this is what I like to do. Definitely don't feel like it's fit right. Yeah. Everything's like chilly really this morning. And our last piece is our head thermometer. Very important piece. Okay, next thing we're going to do plug up my controller I'll plug up my controller and we'll get to start heating this up. To give you an update where we're at, my pot temperature is about 180 degrees and if you start feeling the column down here at the bottom, you're just getting a little bit warm. And then halfway up, it's still cold. Okay, so the vapors are starting to come up a little bit. I don't really see anything in the sight glass. Usually you can see a little bit of condensation or whatever. So she's just getting ready to come up. And like I've said a million times before, now is not the time to walk away, okay? So you should already have your coffee to drink um, or soda, whatever the case may be, because it's going to start coming up soon. And it's going to come up like these blitz, so you won't be able to get ready to turn the heat down. All right, so it ain't going to take long. Okay, so I'll be back. Okay, my column's getting hot. It's, uh, I mean, it's hot to touch it right here, up above the side glass. Now this area is up here, it's not too warm, but she's starting to plot pretty good. Uh, it's about 150 right now. But since this is a little bit cooler, you can see uh, some of the vapors dropping down because they're hitting this little bit of cooler spot. But it'll warm it up and she'll climb up. We are starting to produce a little bit of... Ah, that smells just like fingernail polish. Okay, so that's our methanol coming off our heads. So we'll collect about four ounces and then uh, we'll discard that and then we'll move on to collection jars. <laughs> okay, so we, we collected our four shots of heads off. We've moved over to our collection jars. 
Uh, she's running pretty good, a broken stream. All right. The smell is fantastic. Taste is fantastic. Oh, this is going to be good. Okay, so uh, I think the head temperature is right at. About what close to 180 it's gonna hang out there for a long time okay so let's just keep this running and I'll update you in a little while okay just to give you an update I'm on uh, let's see one I got two quarts run off right now uh, if you hold them up to the light they are crystal clear I like to call it shiny clear uh, I started off you know, a half pint, half pint, and then I moved to full pints. Now I got three full pints, and now I'm going to go back down to half. So I would uh, suspect somewhere in the neighborhood of three quarts uh, start running the tails. So that's why I'm going to move down to a half pint and keep it on going. The last jar I checked, it was at 65%. So that's 130 proof, if that's what you want to go by. Uh, the smell smells fantastic. Taste is fantastic. All right, so uh, probably be here for another hour, I guess. Uh, and we'll, we'll stop back. Okay, so we finished this run up. Um, so about we collected, let's see, one, two, three and a half quarts of dislet. Uh, when we finished up, our head temperature right about 200, and we stopped at 40% uh, percent, uh, dislet there. So our next step would be to let this sit for a while. We're going to taste and decide what we're going to keep. And then uh, we'll mix it together, proof it down, put it on some oak. All right. So what I'm going to do is, like I said, we're going to let this set and air out. I'll put something to cover the jars up, and then we'll come back tomorrow and then we'll finish this up. Okay. All right. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay, so we got our cup jars here. Uh, we're going to taste them, decide what we're going to keep and what we're not going to keep. Okay, so far they all look pretty decent. Let's start right here in the middle. Mmm, no, that's good. Let's go down the low side first. Tasting good. That last one, I can see tails in it. So I think what we're going to do with that last one. Nice crystal clear. I think what I'm going to do Whip powerful I think I'm going to keep everything but that last one Ooh. That's high fruit to bear Okay Let's mix all the rest of them together. Thank you. 
Okay, so let me get rid of these jars here and get them out of our way. Okay, so we got all our cut jars mixed together. Let's see what kind of proof we're coming out with. We'll give her a shot. Okay, we are running sixty percent. Okay, so I'm going to cut it down a little bit from that. Let's do it with one bottle of water. Let's see what that brought that down to. It's fifty percent. It's a hundred proof, just a little bit more than my likings. I usually like to shoot somewhere between uh, 80 and 90. I think one more bottle of water. That's going to be about perfect. And that's it, but that forty two percent. I think I'm going to leave it right there. That forty two percent. All right, so what I'm going to do. Is buy these jars up in hand. Just let add a little bit of oak to it. I have to change my model about a half ounce. Okay, there's our Irish whiskey. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll give this a week or so, we'll taste it, and uh, check the color on it, and we'll go from there.
Uh, so we'll do a tasting on this later on as it gets time to age a little bit. So I guess the last thing I have to say is thanks for stopping by and we'll see you next time.